No, yeah. I mean, it's it's damaging, bro. Like, like I, I, I say some things can't be unseen, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I've seen some cells that I wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like, the mess in there was atrocious, you know what I mean? Some things can't be unseen, bro. And, you know, like, I feel for you on that because whether you know it or not, you're going to experience some form of PTSD. We're sober, you know what I mean? We fucking experience feelings today. Uh, it, that's some heavy shit, bro. And it doesn't matter. I don't know about, I can't speak for you, bro, but I'll speak for me. I don't give a fuck what color the guy is, man. That's some fucking fucked up shit to see. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to see anybody fucking, no race just shot because, you know what I mean? Like, fucking come on. You know? It, it's, man, and, and that's your community, bro. That's your community. That's where you live. So, and, it, and not, not like it matters or not, but, you and I have a similar story about where somebody was going to do some serious harm to us and some people of that color stepped in and said, no, nope, not going to happen today. No, I, have, I, have, oh. I, I, have a sim, I have a story like that too, and I've seen you tell one. But I've had some black dudes in my life straight up save my life and say, hey, check this out. You're not killing this white boy today. Straight up. No, yeah. Straight fat. Yeah, for sure, bro. Like, and I'll speak on it. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, I'll put give credit where credit is due, bro. I'm grateful as fuck for those individuals. I never seen them again. I probably never will. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't know what they look like if I seen them today. To tell you the truth, you know what I mean? It's been that long, but uh, I'm grateful as fuck for what for somebody stepping up. Just and that was just because I show respect, bro. You know what I mean? I show respect, I get respect. You know, it's always been that way. It's how it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? If that shit was going on yeah. in our communities now, it's not us against them. It's the police it's against all of us. You know? I, it's not I don't, the police I, against I, all I, of us either. I don't even know if it's us against the police as much as it is like, let's just us be us. Let's all be together. There's some bullshit out here. And the people that are out there kicking in Walgreens doors and doing all this shit, that's the fucking enemy. That is the enemy. Oh, and yeah. I've, I've, been, I've been in prison seeing some fucking dudes with swastikas on their neck beating the shit out of people of a different race saying, you're the enemy, you're the enemy, and vice versa, blah, blah, blah. No, the enemy is whoever is out here doing this to us, man, because there's people that are out here just trying to live and just trying to feed a family, homeboy, and they're just, it's just crazy. Every night where I live, bro, it's just gunshots and fires and bullshit, and, like, you know, I've, I've been through a lot of shit, dude. I've been through YA. I've been in prison, but I'm telling you, bro, as a man straight up, seeing that dude's eyeball hanging out of his... I'm not built for this, bro. And, and how did you find out that the cops were writing it up as a police, as a, a bike accident? Because it's in the fucking newspaper, bro. And the police are, the, the city has contacted me. The police have contacted me. I had a sheriff show up at my door. And I don't even know if I, if I even want this out here, out there, bro. But just for, so you know, before you edit this, like, I can show you the text, dude. I can show you. The face, I don't know how even they got my Facebook, but they're te they told me straight to my fucking face, hey, there's a lot of racial tension out right now. There's a lot of riots. If, well, duh. This, if, if this gets out, they're going to burn this city to the ground. And so remember earlier when I told you that my shit got broken into and the cops wouldn't show up for three days? Yeah. So my girl called 911 four times when this happened. They don't answer 911 where I live. And I said that to tell you that if this was really true, if it really was a dude that just got in a simple bike accident, why would four, four different police cars show up to a bike accident in a community where they don't show up for 911 shooting calls? And I'll tell you offline where I live, homeboy. You can check all of this. All of this can be confirmed. But why would four different fucking cops show up before ambulance or fire to a bike accident in a community where they do not answer 911 for shootings? No, for sure. I mean, 
no, I mean, you got me. I know what you're, what you're speaking on is true. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, have they threatened you in any way, the police? I don't, I, I don't really want to talk about that on here. Okay, but. that's fair enough. You know what I mean? That's fair enough. So I respect that. Um, wow, man. The, I, I'll, I'll say that the, I've been asked to... You or I don't want to see the city burn... You know, we, we don't want to see any further people being hurt, you know. No. Um, I get I, it. And you know what? Like, I, I, do, I do get that part of it, to be honest with you. I do get that part of it. And I'm sorry I keep cutting you off, brother. I apologize. But, like, every other time in our history, like, when this shit pops off, like, I, like with this person, that person, the other, St. Louis, New York, whatever, I've always been able to, like, tell myself, like, well, this fool shouldn't have been doing that, or he shouldn't have did this or that. Like, man, this dude, George Floyd, he didn't fucking do anything, man. No, no, no. A, Hang a, on. And no, no, no. No, that, this is not true, bro. I mean, he did pistol whip a pregnant woman, bro. He was passing phony money. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying he did anything to deserve what he got, but he, it's not like he was a Joe citizen, bro. No, yeah, you're, 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 you're right. You're right. You so, let me finish. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't. So uh, let me back that up. I don't think that he did anything that deserved to die over. No, there's nobody out there that did. You know I mean, none of fucking either did the guy on the bike. It sounds like, you know what I mean? These are straight murderous fucking situations. The police are fucking killing us and it's not all cops. You know what I mean? It's and at not the same time, cops. at the same time, they're not teaching these dudes how to fight. They got a gun or get your ass beat. So, I mean, that's, that's your options as, as a police officer, you know, in this country. And, you know, look, you know, it if does you don't. Down training, my boy, for sure. It definitely comes down to training. Yeah, definitely. That, you know? yeah, that's the point I was trying to make. Thank you for helping me with that, dude. Yeah, and yeah, it that's, comes that's, down that's, to that's what I was trying to get to. Uh, they need to know that. If you're fucking pissing them off, as soon as somebody else gets there, that that's who should make the arrest. You know what I mean? Because he's going to be running on adrenaline and anger and everything else, and some foul yeah. things can happen. Whereas a fresh cop is cuffing yeah. you up. You know what I mean? He should. Whoever yeah. was original, originally doing this shit should tap mm -hmm. out. Hey, let him go hold the fucking hold the line. Let him go put the tape up. You know what I mean? For sure. But most people. Most people have. Oh, sorry. You still there? Yeah. Most people haven't been where we've been, bro. So most people don't understand what it's like to fear for your life. And I, like, you know, as as a white dude, I don't even know what it's like to feel like getting pulled over and that they might kill me. But I know what it's like to know if you fuck around with a the cop, they're going to beat your ass and you might for get killed. Sure. For sure. Yeah, I mean... This so you, like don't you can't you can't take that away from me because yeah there's a lot of white people out there that don't know what it's like but I do know what it's like to get pulled over pulled over is what we call if you fucking if a cop tells you come here when you're in the joint right so I know what it's like to get my ass beat by fucking COs I do know what it's criminals like criminals it doesn't matter what race you are you know what I mean if you're a criminal bro I mean. I don't know about you, but they have a handcuff. They're the uh, pressure points where when they squeeze those cuffs, bro, that shit will drop you to the fucking ground. You know what I mean? I know. I've been experienced all that. I've been hogtied in the back of a car. I've been hung by the police. I've been fucked up beyond all repair, FUBAR, in fucking an elevator ride, fucking knowing I didn't want to get in that fucking elevator and I had to get in that son of a bitch, you know? You, so, you've been in the showers. You've been in the showers in LA County where they fucking put your T-shirt around you, and if you don't stand on your tippy toes, you're gonna fucking kill yourself. And they can make it look like you killed yourself. That's what they did to me, my boy. That's exactly what they did to me. You know what I mean? 1750. That's what they did to me. You know? And this is where they have cameras down there too. They even have cameras. You know? Uh, it's insane, bro. I don't. I don't know what the answer is. I have no idea what the answer is. Training. Training is the answer. You know? Uh, 
I don't but how do we get I mean, there without any further fucking incidents like this going on? Your neighborhood's fucking not a good place to be right now. The police are fucking not police. They are gang members. You know what I mean? That's what it sounds like is going on in your neighborhood. Police are gang members. You know? How does how do you feel safe as an individual? You know, like I watched him push a 75-year-old man down the other day, uh, peeled his shit open. You know what I mean? Like fucking, he wasn't a brother of color. He was white. Nobody gave a fuck. You know, when it's, it can't, we got to fucking take away the race thing, man. In my opinion, the race thing we has do. to take it we, away. We have, we have to get rid of it, bro. That's such a strong point. And I know I keep doing this shit. I, I don't do much interviews, so please forgive me, everybody. No, 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 but, it's all good. But, You're all good. So this the, this guy that I that we saw this happen to, that 20, 25, dude, people were coming out of their house, bro. People were coming out of their house that couldn't speak English. And the cops were saying, hey, do you want to get fucking deported and go to jail? Turn your phone off and get the fuck out of here. Straight up. Straight up, they came up to us and were like, if you don't turn your phone off and get the fuck out of here, you can go to jail too. This guy was dead for 15 minutes, bro, and they fucking picked him up. They're like, oh, hey, buddy, you're okay. Because when people started grouping up, right, because this is a hotbed community. You know, I'm into, I'm right next to one of the communities in this state of California that is known for being a hotbed of activism. And they started all of a sudden, oh, you're okay, my boy. Okay, let's get you in there. You'll be okay. Oh, don't worry, guy. He'll be okay, guys. It's all good. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, grown women were fucking crying. Nah, People man, were you fucking... You sent me show. You know what I mean? I, I sent you the videos, bro. I had I live texted my girl. All of this is verifiable. There's chunks of afro on the fucking curb, dude. This is fucked up. Nah, man. That's some heavy shit. You know what I mean? It is definitely some heavy shit, my boy. Um, so, I... I I don't know what's going on with the fucking thing right now. It's doing something. Anyway, uh, I mean, me, my bad. I, I don't know what the answer is. I mean, all you could do is pre you're presenting the facts as you know them. That's it. You know what I mean? Um, we're not trying to solve anything for the police, but we are stating that this, you know, what you witnessed was straight up a murder. You know what I mean? I mean, and then they're trying to play it off like, hey, buddy, you're going to be okay with his nugget peeled off. I got the pictures, bro. They're going to be on this video. Um, you saw, you've seen him, bro. You've seen him. Oh, no, yeah. He was fucking dumb, bro. There's no question about it, you know? But, wow, man. And, and then to tell people, fucking get out of here, Betty La Verga, you know what I mean? Like, fucking get out of here, fucking, or you're going to jail, too. I mean, yeah. hey, 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 I hope they heeded their advice because it sounds to me like they probably would have shot their ass, too. You know? Well, and, like, and like these dudes were coming up even just, like, Spencer, Spencer, you know, con permisión, you know, like, ask, like, being hella respectful, you know, trying to be respectful to the dead body. And, like, this old lady was like, oh, con permisión, Spencer, you know, she, like, she wanted to give him last rites and shit. And they're like, no, no, he's not, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. And, like, this, you know, like, that li the people that lived, like, this happened in front of a house, bro. This happened, in like, almost in a Safeway parking lot. It's not like it happened in the back alley somewhere in the middle of the night, bro. It happened in the middle of the fucking day to a homeless man in front of 40 people. And nobody will ever hear about this unless you put it out, homie. You know? And, like, I'm not out here trying to dry snitch. I'm not out here trying to do shit. I, and I'm really, nah, like, man, you're just you know, like, letting your community be aware as to what the fuck is going on. That's it. That's all. I get that. You know? Like, fucking, hey, this is a prime time... <clears throat> if you get fucking pulled over, you leave your motherfucking hands on the steering wheel. You know what I mean? You shut that stereo down real quick before you get pulled over. You put your hands on the fucking steering wheel. You tell them that you're going to reach to your pocket and fucking get your identification. Man, I don't know what to say, you know. Uh, I don't even know what to say, my boy. You know, there's no dry snitching going on here. There's nobody to tell on, but, you know, like, fucking, you're letting it be aware that you might want to fucking mind your P's and Q's around the police right now. You know what I mean? Because the harder we push, the more, the harder they push back. And we give them a certain uh, leeway, we'll call it, to use uh, excessive force, 
Um, we give them a certain fucking leeway to do that. You know what I mean? They're the police. They have, they're in, we give them, as a community, the right to protect other people, to protect themselves, um, whatnot. You know, there's been... This, these aren't the first murders. This has been going on as long as time's been around, as long as the police have been around. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Something definitely has to fucking change. You know, is my YouTube channel going to change them? No. You know what I mean? Like, is uh, all this... So I got a feeling something's going to change this time, though, around. Something's going to fucking change. You know, um, I don't believe that Floyd died in vain. You know, um, I mean... I also don't feel that uh, a presidential burial, in, you know, entitled to all this either. I mean, so here's the facts as I know them. Him and that cop both worked for a casino. They were security for a casino, okay? And, and they were both passing counterfeit notes. They were both ca passing counterfeit notes, correct. So fucking... The casino told them both, fucking, hey, back off. You know what I mean? That's going to be brought back to us. You know what I mean? And, and fucking, I'm not going to state the name of the casino because I don't need no problems with anybody. But uh, they, they told them both to back off. Well, apparently Floyd didn't back off. He was still spending money. So when the call came in, that cop took it upon himself to be the one to fucking go out there and bust, dude, because he went there to do just that. He went there to murder that cat, bro. More than happy to fucking shoot. To shut that dude up. Yeah, he was already in the car. The arrest was made. He was cuffed, stuffed, and everything. There was no reason to pull him out. You know what I mean? He was pulled out to be murdered, bro. That's it. That's all. Bottom line. That, that's all it was, bro. That, they, that cop had his name in the hat, and I don't know if he was with the mob or whoever. Like, I'm not from out there. I don't know how they work, but I do know, I do believe in my heart that that cop was there that day to kill that man. No, absolutely. I just, my firm belief, too. You know what I mean? And he was going to try and justify it because this dude had pistol whipped a, uh, a pregnant woman before. Um, and now what? He's being called out. You know, like, there, it's not his first crime, bro. I'm just going to say that. But there, as, once again, nobody, absolutely nobody of any skin tone deserved what he, that he went through. He, that was fucking horrific, bro. You know what I mean? It gave me chills. And I've witnessed some fucked up shit, bro. But and I've been involved yeah. in some fucked up shit. You know what See, I mean? And and that's how like like this shit that happened the other day. Like I, I could never even admit it to somebody or, or or talk about it to somebody that's not like you that's seen what we've seen, right? We've seen some fucked up shit, and that made me want to puke, honey. No, for sure, man. I, I mean, I can envision, you know, the whole scene. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put the footage up with this. You know what I mean? Like, I hope fucking something happens. I hope this shit ends soon, man. And I just don't see it ending soon. As long as uh, they're going to separate themselves, you know what I mean? It's, I don't, because there's always, now there's going to be another breed of people over here that hate what fucking these guys are doing. Um, I've said it before, you know, like, what are they going to do when they go to our county jail? Uh, they're going to be like, hey, wait a minute. I was holding a, a BLM sign when I got arrested. You know what I mean? That's what, so, and they're still going to get beat up. They're still going to get their shit taken. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how it is where you're at, but that's, you know, that's what they do to so, white boys in LA County back in the day. You know? So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give away a location. I'm up here near DVI. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know, so, I know where you're at. So yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, so obviously, it's a lot of people that don't look like me. Um, right, right, right. So, and, but then and, it's not the point. The point you, but you have no problems with them. Your your neighbors. I keep saying them. See that with with what's being done has caused people that aren't racist to be saying them. They're it's creating you know? a fucking bigger division, dude. It's yeah. it's causing people that don't that were supportive of it in the first place to say, ah, well, gosh, I see all these people looting and killing and robbing. Oh, right. And they I can't like, understand. They like, so maybe that's who we need to be against. And it's not. These, these big-time movie people, the, the big-time movie stars are raising money for their bail. You know what I mean? Why aren't they raising money for the ones that have been looted? That's right. what I don't understand. Why are they getting people that are being rioting and kicking shit in and stealing shit, bailing that, them out as opposed to bailing the people that have been looted and had their shit stolen? 
Where's the, what's the fucking, it's a backwards in my eyes, you know? For the rest of, for the rest of my life, I will never understand this, brother. I it's will never. Fucking, I'm lost, bro. I'm totally lost. It's like they're supporting what they're doing, saying, yeah, go, go, go. Because and the insurance company already stated time. they're not covering all this. Yeah. It could have been such a great time for everybody to come together and say, you know what? We're standing together. Fuck this. Fuck you. We're on the same page. We're united as one. Oh, but yeah. as soon as you smash in a pawn shop window, as soon as they get a black guy on tape shooting this dude, as soon as they get a white guy on tape breaking into the Walmart, as soon as this, it just, okay, boom, division against him, division against them, division against this race. And it's just... And it's just excuse. It, you know what? At the end of the day, in my opinion, it's just excuses for people to be pieces of shit. I mean, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion, and you know, I, like whether I agree or not. I mean, I've stated how I feel, bro. You know what I mean? Like fucking, why aren't the ones that are been fucking violated being helped? Your shit was stolen out of your car. Nobody's coming to your rescue. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. So, I mean. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit and fucking weigh things out one way or the other because people are gonna call me a racist, and then other people are gonna call me a race violator. You know I mean a race traitor because of my opinions? And you I know that's no, just fucking shame on them. You know what I mean? Like it, fucking. It's like if that's what you're focused on, you're missing the fucking point. Bingo. That's my whole point right there. You know what I mean? That's my whole point. So. Listen, my boy, I appreciate you coming on. You know, uh, you. this has been, you know, we're coming up on an hour right now. And, um, to, yeah. you know, present this video, um, present this footage, and maybe it will be a key that helps fucking change something. You know, it comes right back down to training. And it comes down to poor breeding, man. Poor fucking growing up. How these fucking, you know, these motherfuckers, <sighs> it's poor poor person poor people you know what i mean like no morals no integrity no nothing no values mm -hmm. of fucking you know it's i don't want to go into it all and i'm not talking i'm talking about on both sides really both the cops and the looters man you know what i mean like fucking they're the ones that are in the wrong and not all cops let me rephrase that you know yeah. what i mean the, and it, point. but, but yeah, the other cops. cops aren't doing much to stop the other cops from doing it. You've seen when they pushed that old man down, the one cop went to help him up. Like, that was fucked up, you know what I mean? And then his fucking partner pushes him, like, keep moving, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yep. And they don't want to go against their brothers. Just like when you're on the yard, you don't go, hey, quit stomping his brains out. You know what I mean? The, he, he's, you know, that, you don't do that, bro. You just, you roll with it, man. Because otherwise you're an enemy of your own car. And that's how those cops most of the population can't understand that, homie. So that's something that you and he, you and I are uniquely qualified to understand. And, and so it's hard, I feel like, for me, for us to un, to be like, no, you got to have your brother's back no matter what. And then when we get back to the hole, we can fucking talk about it. That, right? that, that's how it always is. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, we'll deal with him later. You know what I mean? Like, fucking. I, yeah. right, right now, I'm going to have your back. But when we right. get to the hole... Then you know we'll yeah, deal with it there. When we but get back most there. can't understand that. Yeah, the, and I don't expect people from f civilians to understand that. You know, what I mean, it's a code that that we run with, but they should understand it because it's just like the the husband and the wife. You know, what I mean, you don't fucking go against your husband in, out in society, no matter how wrong you feel he is. But when you get home, you might have a fuck a few words for him. You know what I mean? Uh, same a, thing with your kids and your really good. parents. You know what I mean? So civilians should understand this to some degree. You know, it's the same shit. So it's just a different tale. It's the same shit, different tale. You know what I mean? So uh, I, I, I hope you get some kind of help for what you witnessed because, you know, bro, I mean, I know you work. I, I don't want to say where you work. I know you help other people. Let's just say that you do something along the lines of what I do. You know what I mean? You yeah. help others. You stay out of self. You stay out of self, you know what I mean? Um, and you know the program. I mean, I'm, I'm 10 years off heroin, you know, like. Respect. All, all that, but, you know, like, you know, still still made my mistakes in life. But, you know, like, what I'm about now is just about trying to help 
other people and, and all that my, break like, dancing you're doing i think you're fucking still tweaking or something i'm just kidding i know what you do for a living so yeah. <laughs> i mean half of that is nerves i get that you know what i mean you're probably uh, yeah, nervous. I'm, not up, well, I'm not used up i've never been on video channel my girl like keeps coming in every couple minutes and i'm like looking over her and like oh yeah ah. i get it i know I think, i'm like this motherfucking noodle group Woo! <laughs> yeah. but hey pe people if I'm, you ask anybody on youtube they'll tell you i'm high as a fucking as a kite, oh, just man, control all... anyway. Right on. Control. Yeah. So you listen, OP, I appreciate you coming on. I, I'm sure we'll talk further. Um, if we have any touch-up questions, I'll give you a call. We'll go from there. We're at an hour right now, so I'll probably try and bump this just into two episodes because I want this out there as soon as possible. So yes, but, uh, thank you for the footage. Like I said, I hope you get some help, my man. You know what I mean? Don't fucking hold it in. Talk about it at work. You know? Yeah. Hey. If uh, if you need any more footage, hit me up and uh, shoot you know, whatever please. you got, bro. Shoot whatever you got tonight. We'll do. I'll do it. I'll do it right now when we get off the phone. And uh, keep in touch, with my brother Dino, man. He, oh he's yeah, a good he, dude. He's getting interviewed. We're gonna sit down in person, though. Okay, good looking. But he has to sit down in person, so that'll be cool. You know, he'll be on yeah. here too. So it'll our, be, our boy, yeah, it'll be good. It's okay, man. Keep. Thanks for being a heavy hitter. You know what I mean and. Don't carry this shit with you, my boy. You know what I mean? Fucking talk about it at work. Fucking, I know what you do for a living. So talk about it. Get it out. Fucking uh, don't hold it in. Don't be all bravado and shit. You know what I mean? We've witnessed some fucked up shit. Uh, you're still a pup. So, um, you know, I appreciate you fucking coming on the channel. And I hope fucking somebody hears our message, man, and fucking wants to. I'm staying out of it by, I mean, I'm being involved in it by staying out of it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go participate in all that bullshit, that nonsense. You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to be right by anybody. These guys are going to hate this. These guys are going to hate this. So I'm just, my part is I'm staying out of it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not getting involved. I'm presenting video. I'm uh, sharing my opinion this way, of course. This is my channel. You know what I mean? Um, you're sharing your opinion. Uh, and it doesn't matter who comes on here. If we don't agree, we just don't agree. We're not going to fucking be arguing over it. You know what I mean? You have your views. I have my views. Um, yep. Sometimes our views align. Sometimes they don't. Like I, like I found your channel going down the YouTube rabbit hole, as many people do, and like straight up, bro. Like I've had, even though like I've been sober off heroin for ten years, like you know, I thought I could drink like a gentleman again, and you know, I've only been, you know, I quit drinking a few months ago, or whatever. But like, there's been times, bro, like when you're, j like, just not even like your sobriety shit or whatever else like just watching your videos has kept me from running out of the house to fucking go do something at 10 at, at night so don't discount what you're doing bro because it's important what you're doing and i wish i could articulate that better but just keep it up bro fuck the haters and you're what you're doing is important and much needed homie yeah i appreciate that you know like the haters are old, bro. Who cares about that? But I guess somebody had introduced some bots saying that I said George Floyd deserved it. Uh, that black guy using other words. They were sending out bots. I didn't even know what that meant. But yeah, they're, yeah, they're I, saying I that, that I, I saw. You saw that? Yeah. I didn't see any of it. You know what I mean? And I guess somebody's been replying as me. So a, a couple of people have broken. You know what? I think we think it's the same person hit. Uh, uh, Prison Break Raw hit uh, Sandman's channel. Like he, he's hit a couple of us, and it, it was like a reply as you or something on Sandman's. Seriously? So, yeah. So I was like, "What the fuck?" I, I but, never go on YouTube anyway, bro. I don't go. You know, I mean, I don't watch the shit. I just don't. You know, what I mean, like, because I don't want to be involved in all the bullshit. I do my channel. That's it. Get this fucking Zoom video going, bro. So I know, I know you're not. Yeah, yeah, on, on <laughs> so, all right, my boy. I appreciate it, and I'll be talking to you soon. I'll let you know when I drop this, okay? All right, love you, dog. You keep all in right. touch. Respect, bud. All right, great, great. Bye.